Hey there kids, just a quick little warning for those of you who are into collecting hot toys. I have a few, you know, I don't have a huge collection of hot toys figures, but as you know, they're very expensive and there are knockoffs and they're being recommended by eBay. eBay is sending out emails. Oh, because you looked at this, here's a cheaper option for you recommendation. And take a look at this one. This is because I've been looking at Superman you know, the Man of Steel Hot Toys figures recently, and they sent me this. Even the box has been duplicated, and this is not by Hot Toys. This is by a company, a knockoff company from China called Hot Hot, but they copied everything. And at a glance, you might not catch it, because it looks almost exactly like the Hot Toys version. And you're like, oh wow, 40 bucks, you know, let me jump on that. Maybe this is coming factory direct or something like that. No, it isn't. It is a knockoff. And it is a convincing one. So unless you're looking for a knockoff, this is a bad option. Don't do it. Honestly, I would be really cautious about ordering anything that is being shipped from Asia. Period. With the exception of Japan. I've never had an issue like that really come up with... Japanese import, but anything coming from China, particularly Hong Kong, anything coming from Taiwan, anything coming from uh, South Korea, I would be very cautious about getting stuck with a counterfeit. So just watch out for that. Another thing I had noticed, and I just wanted to throw this out there while I'm sitting here, uh, going to conventions, I've been seeing a lot of post-it notes being used because, you know, people don't like price tags on their packaging. However, these post-it notes will still leave a sticky residue even on the plastic. And it is very difficult to come off. If you're gonna if you're gonna use a post-it note, I would recommend maybe sticking it on the side so that the window is not interfered with on the package. And especially don't stick it on the cardboard if there's cardboard, because that residue is very difficult to get off the cardboard. So just something for you know, you sellers out there at these shows who are sticking things on the boxes, on the packaging, even the post-it notes can be a bit of a problem. Just saying. So, I hope you found that helpful. Also, remember, uh, there will be a contest announcement coming up here shortly. Uh, we will be doing another contest on this channel. And we will be going to another massive toy yard sale. We will be filming that, and uh, like I said, I'm going to be contacting that person, and hopefully by the next video, I'll find out whether or not he's cool with us letting everybody else know where to find it. And if you have not seen that video, I'll put a link to it down below. It's like the world's most amazing toy collector yard sale. So, once again, I hope you found that helpful. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Tune in again. I hope to see you again, and thanks for watching.